I need to watch my way. <laughs> Good morning guys, we are now at Pataling Street. Yeah, and we're going to look for breakfast. We're going to look for this really famous porridge. It's going to be somewhere here. It's quite a long street. Um, I'm not sure where it is actually. According to Google Maps, it's like in the center of the Pataling Street at the crossroads. So we're going to go find out. Alright guys, I think we found the shop. We're here at Honky Porridge. Let's go eat. Alright, our porridge has arrived. I've ordered the raw fish porridge. It comes with this plate of raw fish and this white porridge which is garnished with some spring onions and I think that is some sesame oil I think some sesame oil can smell it it's really strong okay we're gonna take the chopsticks for seven ringgit I think it's a pretty nice amount of fish so this plate of raw fish has some ginger on it and cilantro on top I'm gonna dip this into the porridge and let it cook for a little while so the porridge is really hot starting to Turn a little whitish. I think I'm gonna throw it all in while it's still hot. Let's try a bit of the porridge. Mm. The porridge itself is already seasoned with some salt. I'm gonna put in some pepper. Lots of pepper. Maybe a little bit of soy sauce. The porridge is a little bit salty already, but I would like it a little bit more salty. And try the fish. Mmm. You still get a little bit of that raw texture inside and slightly cooked on the outside so it's like half sashimi, half cooked fish. It's smooth and soft, it goes well with the porridge. The porridge is smooth and creamy, you get a little bit of the sweetness from the fish, a little saltiness from the porridge and also I put a bit of soya sauce. The cilantro and the spring onion give a little bit of refreshing bite into your porridge. It goes really well all together. It's a very simple porridge dish. It's a nice comforting breakfast. So there are like limited places to sit at their shop and they actually have like a secret area behind some of those stalls then you can find quite a bunch of seeds over here Alright, so I've ordered a totally different dish This is the minced pork and century egg porridge So you can see the century egg over here which has already been chopped into tiny bits and there's also the minced pork next to it Let's give this a mix Yeah Here goes, big spoonful Oh my god, it's still so hot. I think I burned my tongue. <laughs> so the porridge is like really really smooth and silky. It's very nicely and lightly seasoned. I don't really need to add any more soya sauce. It's already salty enough. But I might add more pepper. Alright, there goes another spoon. I'm gonna blow it this time. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk burning my tongue. Mm. So that century egg has this very jelly-like texture. It's got that gelatin bounce. And the yolk is very very creamy. It is good. Not everybody likes century egg, but I love it. The minced pork is not really very obvious when you bite it. It's just very tiny bits of it, but it does add in some flavor to your porridge. This dish is very subjective. Some people don't really like the century egg flavor, but if you do, this is a really, really good dish to try. I think it's not very filling. Maybe we'll go get some drink later. I saw there's a soya bean right down the road, so maybe yeah. we'll go get it. Right now, we are at this really famous soya bean store which they serve like really really good soya bean and it's been around for like super long and we got ourselves like a really nice cool soya bean So refreshing Overall, that was a very light and nice breakfast One thing that we actually forgot to order it was that Yapa Kwai which is like the Chinese churros It goes really well with the porridge but we forgot to order this time so if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us if you like to follow us on our travel and food videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye, Bye guys! guys.